Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with another video for the new Boston. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at jQuery uh, AJAX requests, but we're also then going to look at how to handle different status codes. For example, a 404 page not found error. So just to start with, we have a simple button in our page with the ID of button, and we have a div area with the ID of content. So on our page, it looks like this. This load button is then going to load a page onto our uh, into our div, and that is page.html, and there's just some content written in here. Ajax.js is going to handle this request for us. I've already set up a selector for the button and uh, an on-click event or a click event, and that will handle the clicking of the button. Uh, we'll now go ahead and create the Ajax request, but then just put the status code um, uh, in there as well. So it's dollar sign dot Ajax, and then in brackets uh, we create our uh, our curly brackets. In rounded parentheses we create curly brackets. Now I'm going to specify a URL, and this is going to be page dot HTML, and uh, I'm going to comma separate that with success, and this is going to be um, a function, and the function contents is going to make use of the data that's returned from this uh, from this page, i.e. the content, which would be some content. And then what we're going to do is we're going to apply this to the div just here, so the content ID div. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to select that uh, div, which is called content, and then I'm going to apply the uh, HTML code to there, or in this case, it's just plain text. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, run this and see what result we get. We are taking the data from page.html and applying it to the content div. So everything should work. Okay, so you can see some content. Okay, so now what happens if we were to change this so it didn't exist, so page1.html. Let's refresh, click load, you'll see that nothing happens. So what we can actually do is we can use um, the st uh, status code um, property, I guess, of Ajax, of this uh, Ajax request, and actually return errors based on the status code that's returned. So all we need to do is write status code, so with a capital C, and then after this we need more square brackets, and I'll bring this down and um, go ahead and uh, indent that in a bit. Now we're going to say 404, so this is the error that we, that we are looking out for, and if we do have a 404 error, we create a new function here with a block, and then we can do something depending on uh, whether the page isn't found or not, for example. So in that case, I'm going to place some data into the content, con let's just spell that quickly, content.html, and I'm going to say, um, just say page not found. So what's happening now is we're attempting to open page.html, we're checking for a status code. If we have a status code 404, we're creating a function. And the contents of that function is to apply the text page not found. In fact, we can go ahead and change this to text. The text page not found into the content div here. Otherwise, if we have a success, we can, um, we're returning this data, which is the contents of page.html, and applying that to the contents div. So let's go ahead and save that out. We've automatically now got page.html uh, back. I've removed the one. So that successfully loads, or it should successfully load, um, our page. Uh, let's go ahead and refresh this page. OK, so for some reason, it doesn't seem to be loading it in. OK, so yeah, if we just place a comma after this uh, to comma separate that from the success, uh, then that should now work. So a slight error there on my part. So I've clicked load and some content is loaded. Now we can go ahead uh, and change page to page one. Now this page is not going to be found, so we're going to return a 404 status code error, and then therefore we're going to place some text page not found inside of our content div. So let's go ahead and refresh and try that. So click load, page not found. So you can add more uh, status codes uh, down here if you'd like. So what you can do is go ahead and comma separate these as well. So uh, any other status code that you'd like to display, uh, for example, I'll just put 000 to demonstrate it. You then go ahead and create a new function 
and then you would uh, use exactly the same um, uh, code that we've just used there. So you can handle different status codes in different ways. So this is extremely useful if you want to relay back to your user that a particular page that is trying to be accessed can't be found, uh, as well as other error codes that might relate to more server uh, related errors.